This is National Native News. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. Congresswoman Sharice Davids presided over Thursday's vote in the House on the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women's Act. On this vote, the yeas are 263 and the nays are 158, with one answering present. The bill is passed. After its passage, Congresswoman Deb Holland spoke outside the Capitol about provisions for Indian country. The ballot that we passed today is more inclusive, and there are provisions targeted specifically at getting justice for women in Indian country and women, Native women in urban areas. Native women's advocates across the country celebrated its passage as its fate is unclear in the Senate. News of VAWA's House approval came as community members, students and advocates held a roundtable discussion in Albuquerque, New Mexico, on a database on missing and murdered indigenous women. Anita Lucchese is the creator of the database. She says while legislation is critical to helping address missing and murdered indigenous people, it goes beyond policy with much of the work at the grassroots level. This is an issue that affects everyone, whether you're native or not, whether you live in a tribal community or in a city, um, whether you live in a state with any tribes or not. Every state has native people living in it. Every community has natives in it. And this is a public safety issue that affects all of us. I think a lot of us don't even realize that, you know, maybe the, the alley that you drive past on your way to drop your kid off at school is a place where someone was found. Um, and if we start unpacking that and coming together as a community um, and building those relationships uh, will be able to stop the violence. The Southwestern Indian Polytechnic Institute hosted the discussion. Jody Brachet is a reading and writing instructor at the Tribal College. Including Indigenous voices is so imperative to having this actual discussion, to really knowing who our community leaders are, that it really starts with grassroots membership, along with all these different forms of like leadership, that are people that are coming to the table, people that are, that are making things happen, people that are, that are stepping up and saying, okay, th- this, all these different issues are, are happening, all these different issues of missing and murdered Indigenous women it's happening too close to home people are are directly Im- Im- impacted with this and it needs to we need to f- find some solutions state leaders state lawmakers and representatives from congresswoman holland's office took part in the roundtable navajo leaders are sending condolences to the family of four-year-old adine jones who went missing nearly three weeks ago in the community of anith utah A body was found in a creek this week, believed to be the little girl. Search efforts were held by the tribe, volunteers, and law enforcement. The case is being investigated by tribal and federal agencies. Police have arrested a suspect in connection to racist graffiti at a Chickasaw Nation office and Democratic Party headquarters in Oklahoma City. The Associated Press reports 45-year-old Allison Johnson was arrested Thursday. She's also accused of vandalism in Norman. Native women in business are meeting at Isleta Pueblo in New Mexico to support each other and share ideas and resources. The second Native Women's Business Summit kicks off Friday. It's hosted by the group Native Women Lead. Stephanie Poston is a co-founder of the group. In our families, we are the backbone of our families. A lot of cases, we are the breadwinners in our families. And so how do we come together and talk about that in a safe way? There's so many young women out there doing incredible things. I'm just amazed. Like, how do we continue to support them so they can emerge and become the best that they can be? Because as women in our communities, if we're safe and secure, our children are safe and secure, and that helps our overall community. 300 women are expected to gather for the event. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. National Native News is produced by Kiwanak Broadcast Corporation with funding by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Support by Vision Maker Media, whose mission is to empower and engage Native people to share stories. Vision Maker Media is now inviting film projects intended for public television. You can find out more at visionmakermedia.org. My day one. 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 Day one. Telling inspiring stories of alcohol recovery. Recovery works. Hope starts here. Go to recoveralaska.org to learn more. Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Network.